training. So you challenge to then look at the capabilities approach in a broader way and draw in other theoretical frameworks if if you're using the capabilities approach to think through how you're going to deal with this aspect of it. So for me, it was really the gap in terms of education. But there are capabilities. There are people in the frame who work within the framework, like Bronwyn and so on, are thinking a bit about what capabilities and work means, but they're not thinking about capabilities and work and education together. Mm. And it's an empirical question always when you're working with capabilities because our professional capabilities didn't just come out of the air. It no. came out of talking yeah, to exactly. many groups of stakeholders yeah. about yes. what they thought yeah. were the kind of capabilities you need to be specifically yeah. a public good professional. Yeah. So yeah. it depends what kind of context mm, yeah. you're working in. Yeah. Yes. And part of the problem, that, uh, uh, you know, I suppose part of it's a kind of, it's methodological and, and well, it's epistemological, it's, it's ideological you know, of who's asking questions in vocational education and training to whom. To whom. Yeah. And, and for what purpose? And it, may, and it seems to me, maybe I'm romanticising higher education, that there's a bit more space in the higher education field to, yeah, to have those conversations. Yeah, yeah. And so it's partly it's, you know, can we push so we can have <laughs> similar kind of conversations about, well, what is this for? Yes. As an alien, let me just ask. Um, <laughs> to me, it, uh, there is the issue of generalizability. Mm -hmm. We actually did a study years ago about uh, maths needed in work. <coughs> and so on. But, uh, you know, there's huge critiques of courses on golf course management. Mm -hmm. And those who teach them would argue that they're actually teaching management which is very generalizable and they happen to t take a particular context for doing it. Similarly, at a um, le perhaps less elevated level, we, what we found was that, and I'm sure this is part of your literature, that the technician, the, 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 the worker in a small firm uh, acquired more general skills than if they're working, you know, electricians working for Wimpy, yeah. where all they ever do is connect that plug yeah. to that socket. Yeah. Uh, is generalizability part of this um, humanizing of the work labor thing? I think I think it could be, you know, in, in in different ways. I think what you know what you're saying about the specifics then leads to that kind of problem of. Well, if training is incredibly 